Hey guys, I'm Yorota, and today I'm going to be interviewing Miss Link about drama. So, how do you get in your class? Well, I'm Miss Link, like she said, and you get into drama by signing up to it on, on your elective form. And 7th graders sign up for beginning drama, 8th graders can be in advanced drama and direct things. And then you can also be in the musical. The Little Mermaid this year. Who knows what next year? And that's a pre first, so you, you have to keep your pre first available and not put pre first PE there. What are some expectations in your class? Well, if you like to talk, do you like to talk? Yeah. yeah. Do you like to get out of your seat? Yeah. And sometimes do you like to be loud? Yeah. Kind of cut loose? That's an expectation in drama. We love it when you do that at the right moment and you save the drama for the stage. Um, what is a normal typical day in drama? Well, in musical theater, we come and we do our pre-first class, and you don't have to come every day. You have a schedule, and you practice either singing, dancing, or acting. In drama, we start with inspiring ourselves to be on stage, connecting it to our scenes, and we'll either act stuff out silently, make stuff up with an improvisation, or we'll do an actual scene of comedy or drama, and you get to choose. Are you excited for the new 7th graders next year? So excited. You don't know how excited I am. I spend the whole summer getting the room ready. And maybe I'll see some of you and you can help me do that. Thank you. Thank you. See you next year. I'm your Edsa and... I'm Mr. Kersey. And today we're interviewing him on computers for you guys. So, what's a typical day in your life? My elective class for incoming sixth graders is called Beginning Computers, and uh, usually we come in and do 10 minutes of keyboarding, learning to type the correct way, and we move on to a topic such as Google Docs or Google Sheets or something like that. Something they'll need to know how to use here at Green Acres and on into high school. How do they get into your class? Um, that's simple. Uh, towards the end of your sixth grade year, you'll fill out uh, a selection of classes you would like to take for an elective and just mark beginning computers. Um, there's also available exploring tech for some higher end students who are advanced and you have to apply for that with an application. What are some expectations in your class? Um, there's no minimal expectations. I just come in wanting to learn a little bit more about computers and how you can use a computer to help you in school, to get your work done quickly and easy, effectively. Um, there's no minimum requirement. Um, students really enjoy this class. It's a, it's a lot of fun, plus you get to learn some good skills and use some cool equipment. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Yoretta, and today we're going to interview Ms. Gibson about art. Hi. Um, so beginning art, uh, there isn't a requirement to get in. Um, you get to choose your elective. Um, if you do choose to be in beginning art, you'll also get to do beginning computers. So you get two electives um, per year. Um, some typical things that we do on a daily basis, um, we come into class prepared and ready to work. Um, all rules apply just like every other classroom, behavior expectations. But <clears throat> we get to have a lot of fun and do hands-on experiments and um, we get to paint and draw and be very creative, learn about new styles in art, learn about different artists throughout time and uh, share each other's work. And it's a lot of fun. And be, be in my class but come with a great attitude. What's your favorite part about this class? Uh, my favorite part about this class is probably Miss Gibson and my friends. What do you do on a normal day in this class? On a normal day, I get my work done and talk to my friends too. What's your favorite part about this class? Drawing. What do you do on a normal day in this class? Drawing. What's your favorite part about this class? Um, my friends and drawing. What do you do on a normal day in this class? I draw. <laughs> Michael Boy, what do you need to do to get into choir? To get into choir, you just need to sign up for it. Choose it on your elective form. Sign up for any choir. We'll get you sorted into the right class period, but there is no audition to get into choir for next year at Green Acres. What are some expectations? 
Uh, expectations are people that want to try to learn how to sing better and just improve. You don't have to be a perfect singer to get in. We have people from every different amount of experience. It's just a willingness to try something new and to give it your best, and we all improve together. What is a typical day in quiet? A typical day uh, usually involves a little bit of learning how to read and write music, but we do warm-ups and we sing. We prepare for lots of different concerts, performances off campus. We go out of town. Um, it's really just preparing ourselves to show off what Green Acre singers can do. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, ah. I like this elective because I made new friends like my friend Enrique. He's like, oh, I like Ms. McAvoy. She's super chill and she just makes the whole class funner. I like this elective because it's very immersive and you get to go on field trips. I like Hachio's choir because we get to go on field trips and hang out and we get to sit on the risers. That's pretty fun. What do you like about band? <laughs> I like how I get to play an instrument and how we compete at Paisley on Santa Cruz. What instrument do you play? <laughs> um, I play the clarinet and I'm first chair right now. What's something that you like about Mr. Master? Um, what I like about Mr. Master is how he's a great teacher and he can be very sarcastic sometimes. Thank you.